Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can fix sync pending on OneDrive. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on my desktop. So the first thing that you need to do guys is open the file explorer. If you don't find it right here in your desktop, go ahead and click on the start menu. And then once you do that, go ahead and search for file explorer right here. Then once you find this, click on open. And then once you're here, in the left, you're going to find all of the sections. Here you're going to find home, gallery, and here you're going to find the uh, OneDrive folder. Go ahead and right click on it. And then right here, you're going to find all of these options. Here you're going to find the option to copy it, expand it, open a new tab, and so on. Go ahead and click on OneDrive. And then here you're going to find view online, settings, and here you're going to find folder color. So right now, go ahead and click on view online then once you do that as you can see guys in the left you're going to find all of the sections and in the bottom you're going to find your storage so basically guys you might have your storage full that's why you're having the uh, this problem so basically guys if you find your storage full right here make sure you delete some uh, files that you don't need in order to do that just select the files you want to delete and then just go here to the top you're going to find delete they're going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete them? Click on delete and then you're good to go. If you still have this problem, then just go again right here. Right click, click on OneDrive and then go to OneDrive settings. Then go to account. Make sure you have this account linked to this PC. And then go to sync and backup. Here you're going to find backup important PC folders to OneDrive. Click on manage backup and make sure you enable backup for all of these options. And once you finish, click on save changes and then you're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.